Jenna, what is up, and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I am barefaced, which means we are doing our makeup today. And I actually put up a video a few weeks ago. It was my current favorites video. And everyone commented about my makeup and how just like fresh and like simple and just pretty it was and that was actually because I didn't put on a ton of makeup and that was kind of like my more everyday makeup and I usually don't use that for filming so I really wanted to show you guys kind of my everyday makeup and kind of just what I do so <laughs> that was the same sentence twice but yes we're going to get into this and I hope you guys enjoyed. I also posted on Instagram, my Jenna Rose Beasley Instagram. I do have two. I have one for my Planning Roses, which is my Etsy shop, and then I do have a personal one. So I did ask on my personal Instagram what you guys wanted to know. So I have a bunch of questions here. I'm going to try to get to a lot of them. Um, my friend Shannon actually commented about 20 times a bunch of different rather stupid questions. So thank you, Shannon, for that. Thank you so much. But I'm going to answer everyone else's questions and maybe one of Shannon's. But anyways, I'm going to start answering your questions and doing my makeup. This is going to be a super chit chat um, style get ready with me. So I'm hoping that you guys like it. I prefer this type of get ready with me rather than like the voiceovers. I'm just not a huge fan of that. So yeah, we're gonna get into this. I'm using the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This is my favorite. And the cool thing is that you can get this little mini like pump thing here. I've had this forever. This is actually their travel size. And then I got like the huge ginormous one. And I actually just refill this every once in a while. And yeah, it just keeps me going. This primer gives me life. So, and yes, I do put on quite a bit. You probably don't need this much because this primer is like really like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like silky. Also, I have a pimple there. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of covering up. I probably put on a little bit too much of this and I probably should put my hair up, but we're just not going to do that. We're just going to really make sure this is rubbed in. Okay, so the first question is from Gabby. Dior, oh, I'm gonna, I, I'm just gonna leave the questions here, but her question is, hi, I just wanted to ask if you have any tips on losing weight, and what is your favorite snack? I love your hair, by the way. Thank you. And, oh, I just want to quickly mention, I did have a shower yesterday, and then I put my hair into braids, and this is how my hair ends up turning out. So, I like the way it looks, it's super easy, but um, for the tips on losing weight, while I answer this question, I'm going to do my foundation. I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I'm obsessed with this. This is a little bit too dark for me, but I sometimes go in with this one here just to lighten it up. This is the Anastasia Stick Foundation, and this is in porcelain. And then this one's in ivory, so this one's a little bit lighter, so I go in with that one after. But for losing weight, I honestly am not the best person to ask because I am a big fan of fast food and snacks and just everything that's bad for you. Um, but I'm going to start to try and really think about what I'm eating. But that's a big thing is just really being motivated to do it and really losing weight because you want to. And obviously I know a lot of people want to. And it's funny because I am, I don't wanna say I'm like a role model to a lot of the girls, but I kind of, like all the girls at my dance studio look up to me and they are often saying like, oh, I hate my body. Like I, I, I don't like the way I look and they don't do anything about it. So really, you're the only person that can change you. And that's like my biggest thing is like, if you don't like something, you really have to force yourself to change it. And I know it's easier said than done because <laughs> trust me, girl, I know. But um, I would just say, just make sure you really want it. And if you do really want it, go for it. 
and do everything in your power to lose weight. Um, eat healthy is obviously a big thing, which I know, again, is easier said than done because honestly, I don't think I could live day to day without my snacks. I don't know how people do it, but just, yeah, eating healthy, exercising is a big thing. Um, I actually just recently started doing a workout every night. It's so, so easy nowadays to just go onto like YouTube. This is what I do actually. I just go onto YouTube and whatever like I want to work on that day. Like the other day I did like a full body workout, but you can look up like arm workouts, ab workouts, like seriously YouTube has so many workouts that you can just go and like just find a big space and just go for it and like just do it and if you really want it then do something about it you're the only one that can change it and a lot of it is very much in your head and you just have to go for it so i would definitely recommend that working out at least try to do like a half an hour little workout like the full body workout that i did was from what it wasn't blogilates but blogilates is a really good one and what is the other one? This is gonna bug me. Fitness Blender is the other one. That's the full body workout that I did the other night. And it just felt so nice. Like before you start a workout, like I get it in my head that it's going to be horrible and I'm just, I'm gonna get all sweaty and I'm not gonna want to do it. But like after that workout, holy crap did I feel good. Like I don't know what it was about it, but I think it was just, like the whole concept of like what you're doing is really helping your body. Like it just, it feels good. Your body feels tired after, but it's like a really good tired and it just, it's great. So yes, overall, I just recommend starting to eat healthy, trying to, to just take little steps at a time. That's what I've been doing. I've been trying to not eat as much fast food and obviously I really do need to stop with the snacks which I feel like if I just stop buying them I just won't really feel the need to eat them because I just I buy them all the time and then they're there in front of me so I'm like well I gotta eat them so eating healthy and just doing a workout every day and really just wanting it for yourself. And by the way, I'm using the Naked Skin Concealer on my under eyes. This is fair neutral. And I'm just dabbing that in with the Beauty Blender. And with this look that I did, I'm trying to do like as close as possible to what I did um, before that video. And I just remember doing a lot of like skin stuff so you guys are gonna see that and then it's like very minimal eye makeup so that was kind of the whole thing and what am I gonna do next I need to get this here okay so next question I don't know how many questions I'm gonna get through in this Q&A okay next up next question is from bitter underscore Luna and she asked if you could live anywhere but Canada where would you live and 100% this is going to seem like the stupidest answer, but honestly, I would love to live in Los Angeles, and I know it's like, it's such a like YouTuber thing to do, like, oh, I'm gonna move to Los Angeles and like live my life there and become like super popular and like try to become an actress and everything, but I don't know, I just... I don't think I would move there for that reason, but I would definitely move there um, because it's the weather mainly. I absolutely love summer and I hate winter, like hate it. And obviously living in Canada, that's a, that's a pretty big, pretty big part of living in Canada and I hate it. So I just find that like, in the winter I get so down and I just I don't want to get up in the mornings and it's just so hard to like go outside and ugh, it just sucks so I would definitely say even not just Los Angeles I would just say like somewhere warm yeah but definitely 
somewhere south, maybe Florida. Florida would be nice. Um, but right now I'm just putting on a little tiny bit of these. These are the Cover FX um, Custom Enhanced Drops. These you can put into your foundation. Obviously I had a stick foundation so I couldn't mix it. But if I did have like a cream foundation, I would put a few drops of that in. But for this, I just actually put one drop, one single drop onto my hand. And then just with the tip of the beauty blender, I dip that in and just put a little bit on all of the like high points of my face, um, just a little bit on my nose and on my cheekbones and just blended those in. And it just like gives a tiny bit of like a pretty natural glow. So yes, I'm liking that. And it's really pretty. And I really, I've had another shade of this foundation in my cart, like a lighter shade of it forever. I just haven't gotten around to ordering it because I am currently on a no spend for the rest of my life because of something that I purchased. But you guys will see that. But anyways, next question is, Shay B asks, what's your favorite Netflix series? Oh, girl. Okay, before I answer, I'm going to go in with my Hello Flawless by Benefit. This has been my favorite powder. And as you guys can see, I'm almost out. Um, but I do have a ton of powders that I do need to go through. So I'm probably not going to buy a new one of these. But I'm just going to dust this everywhere other than where I put that. Um, those enhancement drop things. Good talking, Jenna. Um, but yes, my favorite Netflix series. I don't know if she means like exclusive Netflix, like only available on Netflix, because if it was that, I would definitely say Stranger Things. That was a good one. And also, I just re recently finished um, watching Chasing Cameron. It's all about Cameron Dallas. And... He is fine, let me just tell you. But yeah, I just finished that, but definitely Stranger Things. But if it's just everything on Netflix, I would have to say for sure, uh, Grey's Anatomy is on Netflix and I have watched that whole thing, like all of the seasons, like twice already. Um, or I've been really into Life of, an, Life of an American Teenager. That has been a good one. But next up, I'm gonna go in with this. This is one of my newer blushes. This is Marc Jacobs Lines and Last Night. And this was actually in my favorites video. And it is a little pricey for a blush, but I just think it gives like the prettiest natural flush of color to your face. And like, I don't even, like I just swipe a few times because it has like the lines and then I tap it off. So it's like barely anything there. And I just like dust it on my cheeks to make it look super natural and just pretty. I love it, love it. Okay, so that is pretty much all the face makeup. I will go in with just a little bit more highlighter while I answer the next question. Next question is from Jen HC and she asks, which series slash TV shows are you watching right now? Which are the same that I just said? But the other question is, hi Jenna, I was wondering what you want to do long term. Is stickers something you want to stay with or will you progress and do a hobby? That's a good question. And this was from Annie KDay1. I'm sorry. Um, but I am going to do stickers as long as the sticker and planner community allows me to. Um, I have been thinking about branching off into other things. Um, I'm kind of wanting to get into like other stationary type things like I would absolutely love to start selling like stationary I have mentioned this in a ton of my vlogs that every single time I go into HomeSense they have the best I, pre I repeat the best section for like stationary and like all of the notebooks and stuff, like, oh my God, if I could just like design notebooks and like sell those, that would be amazing. That's something that I want to maybe start bringing into Planning Roses is possibly like really, oh crap, sorry. Um, really cute like notebooks and stuff. Um, maybe really cute pens and just, I don't know. Let me know what you guys wanna see in Planning Roses other than stickers, I would love to know. But um, my camera's gonna overheat in one second. But 
The highlighter that I put on is the Becca um, Champagne. This is like the duo, which this is like the best thing to buy because you get a blush and a highlighter. Um, it's Champagne Pop and Flower Child. Gorgeous. If I didn't put on the Marc Jacobs blush, this would have been the blush that I would put on. But for now, I'm going to turn off my camera and let it, you know, do its thing, cool down a bit, chill camera for a sec, and I will be back. Okay, so I am back, and my camera has cooled down. Um, the next question is from the Butterfly Planner, and she asks, do you watch cooking shows? If show, if show. If so, <laughs> what are your favorites? And actually, the Food Network is like one of the only channels that I watch. If I'm not watching Netflix, I'm probably watching the Food Network or I am watching HGTV because if you don't know, I am, well, I, I graduated from college for interior decorating. So I can't say I'm an interior decorator, but yes. Anyways, back to what her question was. Um, I would have to say my favorite show on Food Network, definitely all of like the competition ones, like the, like, baking ones, the cupcake wars, oh my god, cupcake wars, oh. and like the ones where they do the cakes, oh wow, that's my favorite. If I was ever like able to go and like do a totally different thing for my career, I would probably be a baker because I love baking, I love decorating, like I would absolutely love to make like wedding cakes, like how do they do that? Like, I'd love to learn how to do that first off, because I would never know how to do that. <coughs> oh, really? Can you guys see her? <laughs> She's playing with the toy. But anyways, I would have to say, yeah, definitely all of, like, the baking ones. And I don't really watch a ton of, like, the actual cooking shows, like, with all of, like, the chefs and stuff. But baking, that's that's a good thing. Okay. Next question is from Casey Coz, Coos. She said, if you could only order one Starbucks drink for the rest of your life, what would it be? Also, what kind of coffee do you brew at home? So, um, the one that I would definitely get from Starbucks for the rest of my life would have to be the Cinnamon Dolce Latte. Oh, I love that so much. And if you do watch my vlogs, then you know that. I get that way too often. Um, and I brew at home. I have a bunch of different ones. I like to actually go to the, like, I don't know if everywhere has these, but they're like stores where you can just like put a bunch of random ones into, I think it's like 24 for $15.99 or something. They're all different, but that's where I just recently went and I got a ton of different like flavored coffees and stuff. But for the most part, I do gravitate towards like a vanilla um, flavored coffee or a, van or oh, I just said vanilla, or a hazelnut flavored coffee. Um, the Folgers one's really good. They have like a hazelnut cream coffee. That is so good. And the vanilla one that I get is from another brand. I'm not sure what it is. Timothy's rings a bell. But yeah, those are, those two are definitely some of my favorites. I'm trying to make coffee at home more often now. Um, I did get a new Keurig, so I need to start using that. Um, and then the other question from her is, how did you come up with Penny's name and do you want any more pets? And I came up with Penny's name because my name is Jenna Rose. And when I was little, my mom actually, <laughs> funny story, she actually called me this a few days ago. And I'm like, mom, you can't call me that. That's my dog's name. But um, she used to call me Jenny Rose, and then sometimes she'd call me Penny Rose. And yeah, that was just how she came, or I came up with that name is when she called me that. And I don't know, it's just such a cute name. I was going between Penny and Rosie, and Penny one, obviously, and I just think it suits her so well, and she's so cute. And oh, she's in my bed now, I don't know if you guys can see her, she's so cute. Next question is from Morgan Law, and she asks, how can I decorate like you? And if you mean like interior decorating, I would definitely just say a lot of inspiration searching and inspirational searching. 
I go on Pinterest. I can't tell you how many times I go on Pinterest and I just search a bunch of different things all the time. By the way, I don't, I'm not telling you guys what I'm using. The brow product that I used was the Anastasia Dip Brow and I used it with one of their brushes. I think that's everything that I did so far. But next I'm going in with the Anastasia um, Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm gonna go in with one fresco. It's like a really, really pretty, like dark, purpley rose, dusty rose color. I love this. And basically the only thing I did with my eyes that day and really any day is I take just a darker, not too dark, but dark enough that you can see it in your crease. And literally I just put this color directly on my outer like V part and then I bring it in. And literally that is it. And you just do a ton of blending and it just is so simple, but it just makes a huge impact on your eyes. I've actually switched from doing more like eyeliner to doing this and it kind of gives the same look. Like obviously eyeliner is a lot more like, whoa. But you guys, if you have watched my videos for a bit, you know that I did a lot of winged liner. Um, and I used to love that and I couldn't like leave the house without my winged liner. But then I started doing this and it just, it gives the same feeling and it like makes your eyes drawn towards my eyes. What? Sorry. What was that, Jim? It makes you drawn towards my eyes and it's just not as stark as the liner and it just, it's really pretty. So yeah, I just put that a little bit. Sometimes I do go in with like a lighter champagne color. I think I might go in with a little bit of the Vermeer um, just to brighten up my lids. But for now, I'm going to do the other eye with the Bron Bon Fresco. Fres and we're going to answer another question, which the next question is from Katie's Sticker Company. And she asks, have you any plan talking. Have, have you any plans to travel this year? I'm from Ireland and would love to visit Florida and Disney during December. Definitely recommend going to Disney in Florida. That's like the only place that I've really traveled before and it was seriously so much fun. And yes, I want to travel this year. Like that's one of my goals is to travel this year. But my problem is, is that I don't have anyone to travel with. And let me know down below if you guys would think I would be totally crazy to just want to take a vacation by myself. Like, is that crazy to want to, like, just go somewhere, like, an all-inclusive vacation somewhere by myself? I don't know if that's crazy. I don't know if people do this. But I have thought and thought about people that I could go on a vacation with. And, like, yes, if I had a boyfriend, which there's a question about that where we're going to get into... If I had a boyfriend, I would totally go on a vacation with him and I would love it. And I just can't think because I do not have a boyfriend. I don't have any like friends either that could really take the time off of their work schedule or anything like that to go or have enough money to go somewhere. My parents said that I could come with them the next time they go traveling, but like how lame is that? I'm 23. To go on a vacation with my parents, I guess it's okay, but I don't know. I just, I would love to travel, just go by myself. Do you think that's crazy? <laughs> Let me know. But anyways, that is the makeup look. I'm going to go in with some of the lighter color, like I said, and we're going to answer the next question, which, speaking of boyfriend, <laughs> the question is from a lovely plan, and she asks... Um, is a relationship not something you're looking for right now? Haha, <laughs> sorry, I've just been wondering why you ha we haven't seen you with someone. And just a little backstory, I did have a long-term boyfriend from grade 11 to um, my first year of college. And we actually broke up my, um, like the first week before I went to college. And then, um, he, well, we got back together um, for not even a year and then he broke up with me again. He broke up with me the first time and then broke up with me again. I honestly think that he just didn't know what he wanted, but I 
um, I would love a boyfriend and it's just, I think it's extremely hard now at my age and this like day and age to find a partner and especially with what I do with my work and stuff. Working from home, I don't leave the house very often, which kind of sucks. And I really do need to find different ways to meet people and specifically guys, which I don't really know where to meet guys. Like, I don't wanna to go to a club for one thing. That's like horrible. You'd never want to meet someone at a club because that's just not good. But if you have met someone at the club and you're married to them or with them, then all for you. But I just don't feel like meeting someone at a club is the best thing to do. And I don't want to online like date. It's just kind of weird. And yeah, so I'm just, I'm kind of on a standstill with like my love life and stuff. Like I don't really know what I want. And like right now, really the only thing that I'm focusing on is my career and planting roses and just getting my stuff together before I bring someone else into my life. And like I have Penny and I'm just, I'm very content with where I am right now, but also I would love to meet someone. So definitely let me know down below if you guys have any great places to meet guys. I know there's like, I don't know what they're called, but like places where you can meet people, like people get together and like social, I don't know. Anyways, would love a boyfriend, but do not have one, unfortunately. Next question is from Crystal. I can't pronounce your last name, XO, and she asks, who are your favorite YouTubers? Um, to answer your first question, which is what is your, who are your favorite YouTubers? Um, I have a ton of favorite YouTubers, some being planner girls and some being like lifestyle, beauty guru type people. Um, I have some favorite YouTubers that like, honestly, I don't know why I watch them, but I still do. Like I'm slightly jealous of them and slightly envious of their lifestyle, but um, like all of like the really popular like vlogger girls, I don't really like how they, obviously you, you can tell that they are gearing their content towards the younger people and doing a lot of like life hacks and like, oh, uh, me as a kid versus me and as an adult and like all those things. I'm not a huge fan of that sort of thing, but um, I am obsessed with watching like their vlogs. So um, like Alicia Marie, My Life is Ava, um, Mamma Mia Makeup, like, like all of these, like I go and I watch their vlogs, but like as I'm watching them, I'm like, why am I watching this? But I'm quickly going in with Myth by MAC, just as my lip color. And a lot of you guys in that video, uh, said that this color really suited me, and I love it. But yeah, and then for the second one, the second question, which was if Etsy stops, uh, like, the income and stuff, um, I would say I would definitely try to find something else, but I feel like I'm always wanting to be on Etsy and kind of doing that sort of thing. But hopefully, like, if stickers decide to start and not being as popular, uh, hopefully I could find something else and kind of gear what I'm selling towards what is like popular then. So I'm just kind of like going with the flow, doing what the people want, selling what the people want. So that's definitely what I'm going to do. I think I always want to be an entrepreneur. Like I can't picture myself doing like a nine to five job now. I just, I'm not that kind of person and I don't really like working for another person. I know that sounds bad, but like I like being the boss of myself and yeah, so I am all finished with my makeup, but I will um, answer a few more questions before my camera dies. But yeah, this is the look and I'm sorry my cam or my mirror's in the way, but yeah, this is the look. I really, really like it. It's very natural. Um, obviously the lips aren't like super natural. They are... I believe this is a satin finish. So it's a little bit of like a shiny satin, obviously. And you just have a little bit of a glow, not too much. Obviously there's no contour, which that was a big thing with this look was I didn't want it to look fake. 
And like the way that I put on my foundation, it gives it a little bit of a natural contour because I do put like stripes of the dark and light foundation um, in like different spots on my cheeks. But yeah, that's it. And then you do have the little bit of shine on the lids with the pretty like dusty purple color. I just think it looks really nice with my dark eyes. Okay, so like I said, I did want to answer a few more questions before I headed out. I am going to a few places, so I have to hurry this up. I have to get things to the post office on time. But um, I did scroll through a few of these just because I think I have answered them before. But the one question was from Jazz underscore Hind, and she asked, if you could be best friends with any actor or actress, who would it be? Thank you to April A. Young. Thank you, girl. But um, I would say 100% Jennifer Lawrence. She seems like such a down to earth and just like funny person. And also Shailene Woodley. I love her so much. She's gorgeous. And again, just seems like a really down to earth person. Like I hate celebrities that just kind of let it get to their head and just don't really, you know, keep their, you know, normal person self. But yeah, definitely those two girls I would love to be friends with. I believe they're both older than me, but whatever. Um, and then next up, scrolling through a few of them that I've done before, planning to live slash the best life ever asks, do you like to read? What has been your favorite book you've read? And I am not a huge reader. Um, this is something that I do want to get into more because I feel like reading can really expand your knowledge and just as an overall person, I feel like reading can really do a lot for you. So I really want to get into that. But I would have to say my favorite book. I read a book quite a while ago. Sorry, I'm playing with my hair. I read a book quite a while ago called The Happiness Project. And I think it was when I was in high school. I think we had to do like a project on it. But anyways, it was so good. And it really just like... I love books that you can take something from and really learn from something and The Happiness Project was seriously one of those books where I just like took so much from it and basically that book is just like an lady, a lady, a lady that is going on this happiness project and really um, looking at her happiness and just like you'll have to read it but it's all about her happiness and throughout one year trying to make herself happy. So yes, that was definitely one of my favorite books, as well as I did like Zoella's book, um, Girl Online, but that's like, you did not learn anything from that. <laughs> it was just a book about love. But anyways. Okay, and then the last question I'm going to answer for today is from XXEmma277XX, and she asks, when did you get your first period? And I actually got this pretty late, in my opinion. I got it the summer between grade 8 and grade 9, which is like the worst time to get it because that was me transitioning from middle school to high school. I don't know different things in the US and stuff, but um, yeah, it sucked and my period has not been a good experience. Um, I got really, really bad cramps all throughout high school and sometimes like I got so bad that I didn't want to go to school and like I couldn't like walk and it was so bad so I ended up getting birth control to help with that as well as I did have a boyfriend at the time and I actually just recently a few months ago stopped taking birth control and my periods have been crazy and like I haven't been like normal for a while and right when I went off of it I didn't have my period for like four months or five months but yeah I finally got it and it just hasn't been normal since then and I don't know what's wrong with me but anyways my camera is going to overheat again but I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me natural everyday makeup Q&A thing I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos I love just sitting here and chatting to you guys really casually so give this video a thumbs up and definitely comment down below if you guys enjoy this and if you want to see more and just any other questions you want to ask me definitely let me know down below um, also, I am wanting to possibly do like interior decorating style video for next week. So let me know what you guys want to see in like home decor videos, what you want to learn or anything like that. Let me know about that. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, definitely do that. And I will see you in my next video.
Bye guys. Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. Before you came round, I was ready to slow down. Before you came.